Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to All the Mod 7. Guys, text the armor textures are a little weird. Uh, I look kind of funky. Let's get past it. <laughs> this is really weird. But anyways, guys, uh, yes, we are back in All the Mod 7. Feels good to be here, even though we weren't gone for that long. I don't know why I'm saying this. But anyway, went ahead, put the border around this. Uh, these are still open. I don't know if I'll fill these in. I might do something cool here. Maybe cool pattern. Don't know yet. But uh, yeah, we're going to put a time lapse on your screen now of me building this thing. You know, super duper simple with the building gadget from building gadgets. You know, pretty simple. Uh, but yeah, it was fun to build. Uh, also connected to back up here, and then I started uh, the other side. We have this one over here, this little path. This one is up to length. We're going to go ahead and copy another one of the seed areas over here, and then we'll have more seeds being able to be automated. And then over here and over here at these corners, these are where we're going to put our villagers. So that'll be a lot of fun. We're going to have villager fun. That's always good. But anyways, we're getting into the meat and potatoes of today's episode. Guys, we have a few things that we need to do. So the goal of today is to automate the crystals and the Fluix dust from Applied Energistics 2. So that's what we're going to be working on. But in order to do that, we need to automate sand first. So that is going to be our priority. Now, I do have some, let's see, elevators here. And I think this is going to go down to our create like area, but I haven't built a platform down there. So I think I'm going to go ahead and build one there real quick. And that's where we'll keep all of our create things for our base. Okay. So we have our platform down here, all accessible from our elevators. Very cool. So now is the next part. So for one, I do want to go ahead and kind of bump this out, give a little bit more, you know, room for the elevator. If that makes sense, pretty simple. Nothing too crazy, just going on a block in each direction, maybe a couple times, and we'll call it good there. So, uh, I actually want to go ahead and round these over. Um, let's see, we just got three. Guess I do need that infinity wand anyway. Okay, so then we're gonna come out two blocks here, and then we'll bring this over. I know we did just go one more block out than I said. It's okay. It won't break. Because we're going to have our, our stuff kind of on the wall over here. That's the goal anyway. Let's see. Okay. So one, two, three. Yeah. These are off. These are off. Is that better? Yes, now it's not off anymore. I'm gonna duplicate this on all the, the sides so it won't look as weird. And then now I'm going to that too. Yeah. There we go, it, looks, it doesn't look so weird now. Um, and then now we're gonna build this kind of up and over, kind of like this, and then we're gonna have our, our conveyor belts and stuff like that, um, the, all the good stuff. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need for our create setup is a way to create the stress units. And so we're going to get a furnace engine and a flywheel crafted up. But it looks like we are going to need a mechanical crafter, which is okay. Um, I believe I still have this set up. We do need some plates. Okay, I should have some brass left over. Yes. Brass casing. Okay, so we have everything for the flywheel. We need a sticky piston for the furnace, brass casing, and then we need some brass plates. Come on, I know I got some more of these. Okay, so now we can make a few brass plates here. I don't know why I did that. There was a random amount in there. Okay, so we have 10 brass plates. So for this guy, we need five. For this guy, we need none. So we are good with 10. We have the sticky piston as well. Do we have the wrench? Don't want to go all the way down there without the wrench. That's my food. We're getting low on food. That's something we gotta take care of soon. Cool. All right, it looks like I did take it down. At one point we had the mechanical crafters down here. Darn it. That's okay. Okay, so we have the mechanical crafters here. I do need to go ahead and get them reconnected real quick. That didn't work. Try that again. There we go. Okay, and that's not moving very fast, if we're being honest. Um, hmm. How do we get it connected? I see. We steal. 
We are thieves. No, I'm just kidding. Is it really stealing if it's from yourself? No. I learned that in the Bruce Wayne the movie called The Batman. He went to jail for robbing... Now it's going the wrong way. Frick. Okay. Now we need to reverse it again. There we go. Now it's going the right way. And we need to steal this one over here. Perfect. Okay. And so then we take this down. Boop, boop. Two. And then we do one of these. And then we do one of these. Cool. So now this is working beautifully. All we need to do is place these in the right order, which is what I learned in boating school is. Okay, so this was here. Oh, wait, was it? No. Give it back. No, I need it. It's breaking things. Oh, gosh dang. Gosh dang it. It's all gone wrong. What are you doing? There you go, you dingus. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. I didn't need to go all the way out there, by the way. I just realized. And then here. And then piston here. And then brass casing here. Is that not it? I think I have a wrong piston. Okay, let's try this out. Normal piston, is that what it was? No. I just click it with this. Huh? Yep, that's a brass casing. Brass plate, brassing, brassing it. Okay, so the issue was we had some surrounding things. I guess if we have extra ones that aren't being used, you can't do that. That's a little weird, if you ask me. I don't think that should be the case, but I uh, can't really do anything about it, which is okay. No worries. But, uh, yeah, now we just need to add one over here, and we should be good. So, there's our guy. Perfect mechanic. There we go. So I should be able to do that. No problem. And then we'll click here. Beautiful. And so we had one brass casing here. And then the rest were ingots. Right? You're kidding. It's exactly what it says to do. brass casing that's what this is it's a brass casing why are you like this do I need to do this does it need to be even on all sides maybe I click it let's see here nope that's not helping Let's try it. Um, oh, no. Okay. Um, if you're screaming at your screen, I am sorry. Um, <laughs> so it said nine total, right? And, well, we need... Hang on. Hang on. I need to fix this. You need nine total, but, 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 but the middle one needs to be missing. That was the end. That was the missing ingredient. So now if we do this, we should be able to go, yep, it's working. Look at that. It is crafting, ladies and gentlemen. That's so good. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. And there we go. There's our flywheel. Looking good. All right, so down here is where we're going to have to go ahead and set this up. So I have done a little bit of uh, stuff with the... Oh, that's right. Furnace engine. Oh. 
I feel kind of silly because we need the engine. We need a furnace. Yes. Okay, I forgot the furnace. Don't judge me. I forgot it. Okay, so here we go. Furnace. Furnace generator. Our engine furnace generator. And there we go. So now, I'm pretty sure I want that facing the opposite direction. Can we do it like this? Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay, and then now, I keep forgetting there's elevators here. We get a bunch of coal. We get coal blocks because we have 46,000 of them. And we're going to see how efficient this is because we are generating coal from a couple different sources, bees and such. But we need to cook something, which I think should be sand. Um, yes, the process of it cooking something is what generates the stress. So it's going to run on itself. That is crazy to think about. Okay. So here we go. That's working. I think it does need to be heated up. Possibly. Can you work, please? Is it too close? Is that what's going on? Do I need to place it here? <gasps> yes, I need to place it there. Okay. So, that is generating stress units now, which is great. Um, so, we're going to need a drill. Um, yes. So... Let me get let me get all the stuff over here on the left, and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is generating quite the amount of stress units. Uh, yeah, we're hardly going through that, which is good, because that means that we should be able to support that no problemo for a long time. Uh, we'll just set up like an export or something like that. But what we do need is I have a couple of crushing wheels here, which is good. Uh, we're also going to need to get a mechanical drill which will break the cobblestone. And then we need to set up a, what's it called? A lava a cobblestone generator up at the top. Why am I typing? Wait, can we, uh, wait, how do we, cobblestone. Is there a way to do that easier? We could do it with stone essence. We have a lot of it. We have seeds of stone essence. Nah, I think we just get it all running off of that, which is fine. Um, a bucket. We need a water bucket, and then we need a bucket of buckets. We can get the lava in the bucket. Very good. Ooh, this is kind of hidden. I didn't think this was down here. I think there's a spawner for drowned here as well. Maybe I'll come back for that. Maybe I won't. Alrighty. So... Hmm, how's it going to work? Are we going to have to put a hopper there? I think so. I think so. I want to do this with you guys on camera as much as I can, just in case you guys want to do it as well. Um, maybe a shoot. Yeah, let's try shoots instead. I think these are going to be better anyway. Um, yes, here. Oops, here. All right, so now if we do this, if we toss this here, should get picked up and put in. Beautiful. Whoop, not like that. Okay. So then we need some building blocks as well. Okay, so right here we're going to go up. I might need to move this in the future. Don't know yet. Do I want to know? Not really. Okay. So crushing wheels can go right there. It's all centered uh, by one. I think that's okay for now. It might, it might drive you guys a little crazy. Uh, I'll end up moving it off camera if I need to. And then we're going to set these guys up. 
like so. So it's going to drop, drop. And then above this is where the, whatchamacallit will be. This is where the miner will be. Oops, not like that. Okay. So then we have the water run here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three. We may need to make this shorter. I don't remember exactly how far these need to be apart. I know if we do it like this, there's a, like almost a guarantee that I won't turn the thing into obsidian. Okay, and then what if I do this? I believe it's gonna turn this block into it. Yeah, so I need to. I, oh, I need to. I need to move this back one more block, which is no big deal. Okay, now if I break this, what will happen? Nothing. Because this needs to be moved one block forward. Perfect. Okay, so that means that that will break this one. All we have to do, we need a few gearboxes to change the direction of stuff. Let's, whoop, let's get a few more of these. 31 will do. Maybe too many. I did keep the stuff in my inventory, though, so that's not a bad problem. Okay. I think, I think we're safe to break all of these blocks. Okay, so we're going to need one space here. And then we're going to go straight up with it. And then we'll come this way, and then like that. Okay, so now all we gotta do is set these guys up. Now I'm pretty sure if I go like this. Oh, these need to be vertical. Thought we had a problem for a second. <laughs> Wait a second. Why are you going backwards? Hang on. I think if we do just something simple like this, that will work. All right. So sand's getting put into here. Okay. We definitely need some speed upgrades for these guys. I think I'm going to do the clutch method. Not the clutch. Something else. Um, let us see here. Okay, I think we're going to be able to get away with increasing the speed if we use the adjustable chain. Hopefully. Ooh. Yes. That works great. Uh, and then the encased. Oh, yes. I just need a lever. Oops. Lever. I hardly know her. Look at that. Two. Jeez, Louise. This is good. This is good. The plan's all coming together, guys. Yeah, so it just stopped because we ran out. We need these to move faster, which is our problemo. Okay. So I'm going to try to run these off of just one, like tap almost. Um, let's see here. So this will be solid till this one and then we're gonna have a vertical gearbox come out this way and then come over here actually I think we'll have this go into a gear shift right away so that way you can change the direction we can get one more block further wait a second what am I doing I got an idea so here we go 
Actually, let's just do that exactly what we had before. Sorry, changing this up on you guys, if you're following along. But this way, it should keep it good. Oh, that powers both of them. Fantastic. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. I think that's really good. We just need a few more of those guys. Oh, we're out of some of those guys. Okay. And then we need to find something to smelt. Flint got in there. Okay, so these are actually backwards from each other, which is kind of cool. So I need a gear shift on this one. I do not need one here. Those are good. I don't need one here because these are going to be opposite. So that means I'll just need one here. And then, so those are going at that speed. If I flip this, yes. Now it's moving much quicker. All right, so let's add 11, right? We need to see how quick it gets through. Sorry, I bumped the mic. Okay, so it may it might have had an issue because there was flint in there that got through. But now we're having sand. Yes, we are in a surplus. Perfect. This will produce us stuff. Yes, we have now just automated glass. Ladies and gentlemen, glass has been automated. Oh my lord, this is cool. So we do need to do a couple of things now. We need to put uh, an automatic way for fuel to get in there, which won't be difficult at all. And then we also need to pull items out. So we're going to rely on our handy dandy ender chest to do this. All right, so I did actually go ahead and do something off camera. I created some dye essence, um, the seeds for this, and it's super duper simple, right? Dye and seeds, you just need some of these, and yeah, like super duper simple recipe, but this allows us to create any dye in the game that we so wish. So we're gonna be doing that. And so for fuel, we will do this one and that one as black. And then I want to do the middle one as gray, like a dark gray. Perfect. So we do need two sets of these. So boom, boom, gray, gray. And then we need two diamonds for these. All right. And then we're going to grab some ender pearls. These are tanks. Why? Why do I have tanks? <laughs> I will have no use for those. Oh, no. I feel so silly. Okay, so we actually need that many. We just need one that is triple white because that is the main input to our system. And then we need two more. Okay. Let's draw that again. So, yes. Place down two ender chests like this. Bam, bam. And then the middle one will be gray. And the outer two will be black. And that is specifically for our fuel. And then we go like this. Now that's ours. Perfect. All right. So 
We set up an export bus for coal blocks. We don't really need to worry about the speed, really, of that, because we'll be able to export them much faster than our system down there will use it. So let's just go right here for this. And we have no channels being used here. Perfect. This is temporary. And put that there. Export. Beautiful. And it's crazy that we're generating 16,000 stress units for that. Uh, yeah, we're going to do blocks just because those. We burned through those uh, interestingly. Interesting. What am I doing? Go on top, turtle. Okay. Oh my gosh, we placed the block. Click here. Perfect. All right, and then now down here. Oh. I need a smart shoot. Good thing I got one of those. So this will only allow sand in. We filter it for sand. Get out of here. Okay. So those are in, and we need... Can we do this? No. We need a normal hopper. That is kind of lame. Or we could do a pipe. I think we're going to do a pipe. Okie dokie. So, whoop. From the back here, we are going to do this. Yes, it notices. Bam. All right, so that's being filled, which is fantastic. Now we're here. One more pipe. Get that filtering. Get that in there. Put that here. Get rid of that. Is that working? Perfect. Okay. So there is one, one way that I can think that we can make this better. Uh, and that would be to have a drawer that allows us to have the um, the sand go right into it. So I think we're going to implement that real quick. So this will allow us to just have sand go in here. And let's see. Grab you. We're going to grab some of you. And we'll use this guy for now. So that will get all of the items. Uh, yeah. So we'll temporarily take the roll of this. We shoot. This is becoming a very tedious project. OK, so this is technically working. So the items get pushed out of there. Ooh. Ooh, it's showing me the range of that. That's weird. Um, but the items get pulled, like, gone into there. Um, well, let me... I think I need to set up a second one of these. Give me, okay, I'm going to set up a second one. One's going to do glass, one's going to do sand, and they're going to, like, the, the glass will power both of them. Okay, so this thing is really ugly, and I almost wonder if maybe we should just hide it, like, underground down here somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. I might end up moving it, but it is working 100%. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it just runs off the front, which is really, really cool. Um, I just tapped into the power come over here. We have that drill going, which is cool. 
And then I just extended these out with the shafts and now they're smashing it as well. So yeah, we're, we're automating glass and we're automating um, sand as well. So now we can go ahead and you know work on getting that set up. We're gonna use a similar power source to this guy because this guy's always gonna be full now. Uh, and then we do also have the void upgrades here so we're not gonna be worried about you know overflowing and then causing a bunch of lag. Like if we get too many clay balls or too much flint, it's just gonna automatically de delete it with the void upgrade. And then we also have the void upgrade on the sand one up in our storage room over there, which is good. But that is gonna wrap up our episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, today we went ahead and automated the stuff that's right behind me. Uh, if I am cool, I could have you look at it. Yeah, as you can see, we have 17 sand and we have 195 glass that will slowly go up hopefully when we're done you know it's cool yeah anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you all so much for watching yet again i hope you all have a great day i will see you all in the next video take care peace out Bye bye